Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Nano. And we're going to delve deep into the simple yet powerful text editor for Linux. Whether you're a beginner or looking to enhance your skills, Nano has something for everyone. So let's get started. You can see I've opened a terminal window. Uh, you can usually do this on your machine by pressing Control, Alt and T. And one of the things I'm going to recommend that you do, especially if you use an XFCE terminal, is go into Edit Preferences and go along to advanced and disable all menu access keys because otherwise the alt key can interfere with some of the uh, keys within nano itself so having done that uh, let's launch nano and uh, you can do this simply by typing nano followed by the name of the file you want to edit if i do ls test you can see i've got a file already so if i do nano test you can see I've got a file and it simply says welcome to Everyday Linux User. In this video we will be talking about Nano. I will show you some of the basic functionality of Nano as well as some more advanced hints and tips. So let's look at Nano's interface. Up here we have the main um, editor pane and at the bottom we have some helpful shortcuts for some common tasks. For instance we can press Ctrl and G and that brings up the help menu and you can use the control keys to navigate around this help page. For instance, if I want to get to the next page, I can press control and V, and I can keep doing that, or I can press control and Y. If I just want to go down a line, it's control and N, and if I want to go up a line, it's control and P. You will notice that some of them have an M in front of them, so M and Q and M and W. Um, when it says M, it means Alt, if you want to exit out of this menu, you can press Ctrl and X. Now, if you want to save a file at any point in time, you can press Ctrl and O, and you will see there are some extra features here that you can use. So for instance, if you want to save to DOS format, you press Alt and D. If you want to save to Mac format, it's Alt and M. And if you want to cancel, you can press Ctrl and C, and then that's cancelled. So if you want to just simply output again, you press Ctrl and O, and write the name of the file you want to write to. So I'm going to do it in a DOS format. And then it, to exit, it's Ctrl and X. So if I do nano on test again, the same file is there. You can edit text simply by moving the cursor around and typing it in. So if I show you now how to cut and paste some text, so for instance, if I wanted to move this entire line, I can press Ctrl and K, and then I could go to the bottom and press Ctrl and U. So you can see cut is Ctrl and K here, and paste is Ctrl and U here. If I want to just do certain amount of text. I can select the text I want to take, do Control and K, and I can move it up to where I want to put it, and Control and U. Now, obviously, that is just is uh, breaking the sentence, so it doesn't look right. So I'm just going to type that back in, and then down here I can just do Control and K on the line, and everything's back as it was before. If you want to find something in your text, you can use Control and W, because Control and W stands for where it is. So if I do Control and W, I can search, for instance, Nano, and it's highlighted the text. If I can Control and W again, it's now found the next instance of Nano. If I wanted to, for instance, uh, search and replace, so if, for instance, I want to do replace the end of tips with a full stop, I can do control and slash, and then I can search for what I want to replace. So at the moment it's saying nano, but I'm going to search for the word tips, and I'm going to type tips dot. So the last line you can see it's highlighted that that is it this instance you want to replace if there's multiple instances you can press a for all uh, in this case i've only got one so i'm going to type yes and you can see it's put a full stop on the end of tips 
So as before, I can output that by Control and O, press Return, and then Control and X saves the file. You can open Nano just by typing Nano, and that enters a blank file. And it, say I wanted to add a line of text to my test file, I can put add this line of text to my test file. When I press Control and O, I've got the option to append. So I can do Alt and A, because the capital M means Alt. So Alt and A, and it says file name to append to, and I'm just going to put test. When I press Control and X, it asks if I want to save this buffer, because when you enter a window, it's basically called a buffer. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to press No for that. And if I do ls test now, and then nano test, you can see, add this line of text to my test file is in my test file. Similarly, if I do nano again and type add this line to the beginning, and I press Control O, and then you can see there's this prefix option. I can press Alt and E, and it asks which file name you want to pre prefix it to. So again, I can type test. I control and X exits and then press N because I don't want to save the modified buffer and then I can type nano test and you can see add this line to the beginning of my test file has worked. There are other options so if I do control and O you'll see there's a option for backup file so we're going to do alt and B and we're just going to press return on that and we'll control and exit and we'll see what that's done you'll see that I've now got a file called test with a tilde on the end and that is a backup of my file. There's nothing specifically uh, special about that file, it's just created a file with the tilde so that you've got a copy of it. So uh, Nano also supports something called syntax highlighting. So we can do nano minus y. If I, if I look here, and do ls, you can see I've got a file called sample.py. So if I do nano minus y python and do sample.py, you'll see it's made all the keywords um, various colors to highlight this, the keywords of Python. One other thing you can do, uh, if you look down here, you've got this read option, which is control and R. So if I do control and R, you can see that down here we've got new buffer or no conversion. So I could insert some text from another file into here, or I could create a new buffer. Uh, so I just press Alt and F here, and I can just press Return, and you can see I've got a new buffer. And so I can type whatever I want into here. For instance, Hello World, and I can press Control O and hello world so that's done I'm still in my second buffer and then I can move between my two buffers by pressing the alt key and the comma to go to the first one and if I want to go to the second one it's alt and full stop so alt and comma um, takes you to the first and alt and full stop moves you to the second now I could if I want to open a third one so I press control and R again I press Alt and F to create a new buffer, and press Return, and I say goodbye everybody. And I can switch between the buffers by pressing Alt and Comma. You can see I'm at Hello World, and then I'm back at the first one. And then if I use a full stop with the Alt key, you can see I'm moving back through the buffers. So the last thing I want to talk about is editing some of the configuration options. So if I type Nano, and use the tilde and dot nano rc you can edit the configuration options of nano within nano so what sort of things can you put in your nano configuration file so first off we can do set line numbers and when i go into my new buffer now you can see i've got line numbers on
by adding the line that I've added at the top will give you syntax highlighting from um, the main NORC. You can also do something called auto indent. So at the moment, for instance, if I type hello world, and on the next line, I indent and put my name is Gary, you can see when I go to the next line, it loses the indentation. So I can put set auto indent. So now when I do nano hello world, you can see it's left the cursor where my last indentation was. And this is useful if you're doing something like Python programming, of course, because um, Python programming uses a lot of indentation. One of the things you'll notice is um, mouse support. Um, I have mouse support on because it's in the nano RC file up there. But if you didn't have it on, you could just do set mouse. And that will give you mouse support within nano. Other things you can put in the nano RC file are key bindings, shortcuts, you can enable and disable features and configure colors and things to suit your preferences. Um, I recommend if you want to learn this stuff, you can use the nano um, man page. You can use the Google um, and of course, uh, ChatGPT will also be your friend for this. And that really brings us to the end of the video. Uh, thank you for joining me and if you found this video helpful uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Uh, thank you for watching.